Welcome! This is a brief video on locomotive transportation. It's the future trends in rail transportation in light of the new carbon tax by Risha Browat and Oluwakurde Abdul Karim. Thank you. First of all, when we talk about transportation, what comes to mind? Different thing comes to mind to different people, from cars to trains to airports to rails. If you ask someone in the safari, it could even include camels. And if you ask a little child, it would involve her toy car or her magical unicorn. Basically, transportation is about moving people and things from point A to point B. Now, in the movement of people and things from point A to point B, different environmental factors have come up recently. The rate of emission that has been given up by transport modes have been severely spoken about and we're going to talk about some of the environmental footprints of transportation. This table was culled from the US Bureau of Transportation Statistics 2017. It shows the different volume of freight by different modes. So we can see that the trucks still carry a huge percentage of freight between United States and Canada, but the rail comes a close second. This means that the rail is a very important mode of transportation when it comes to the movement of people and things both within Canada and transporting freight from Canada to other countries. What is carbon tax? Carbon tax is a fee imposed on each ton of emission from fossil fuels. It's under the federal levy. All products such as gasoline, diesel and natural gas are affected. In Canada, the federal government implemented a coordinated nationwide carbon price. With carbon tax going up, prices of fuel, diesel, gas are going up. And inadvertently, cost of transportation, cost of tickets will eventually go up as well. So we're going to have a look at the rate of emission of the different transportation modes. This is a 2017 breakdown by the Bureau of Transportation showing the different percentages of carbon emission in Canada. Currently, we can see that transportation is the leading GHG emitter in Canada currently, meaning that the movement of people and goods across Canada's wide and diverse landscape is the leading source of GHG. Electrical and hybrid technologies could help lower the emission, but we can see that compared to electricity, oil and gas, buildings, agriculture, transportation holds a very, very high margin in the percentage of GHG which is being emitted into the environment. Further analysis, we have another breakdown of the emission per mode of transport. The sheep is just 8 grams per carbon dioxide per TKM. Trains are 35 grams of carbon dioxide per TKM, while trucks 110 grams of carbon dioxide per TKM. And we have the airplanes, which is the biggest whoop of 665 grams of carbon dioxide per TKM. This shows that the train has its own amount of CO2 emission that it gives off while moving people and things from one place to the other. So, what could be done about this? Now, the rail is a very special mode of transportation as it keeps innovating and keeps improving regardless of the things that come its way. As the name suggests, electric trains are powered by electricity rather than the traditional fossil fuels of diesel or coal. As with electric vehicles, there are significant cuts in carbon emission when using electric trains as opposed to diesel. 
The Department for Transportation claims that carbon per passenger mile from an electric train is up to 35% less than that produced from a diesel train. Once again, the carbon per passenger mile from an electric train is up to 35% less than that produced from a diesel train. That is a huge difference. Furthermore, electric trains have lower energy and maintain a maintainer's cost, which will in time lead to cheaper transportation. One of the biggest drawbacks of electric trains currently is the cost of infrastructure. In places like Europe and United Kingdom, they have started making moves towards building the trains and the tracks that would be run on electricity. But still, the cost of the infrastructure is a big, big, big huddle to cross. Now, despite the advent of cars and airplanes, rails of all types have continued to evolve and thrive. The promise of an urban electric train that will be efficient and low emitting will no doubt unlock substantial benefits for those moving freight, those moving people, those just driving from point A to point B, and everyone in general. Because a cheaper electric train makes things cheaper. We've discussed the different modes of transportation. We have looked at the percentage of CO2 emission by different modes of transportation. We have seen that the rail adds a bit to the emission. And we have looked at what carbon tax is and how carbon tax would increase the cost. And we have looked at the advantages of electric train and how that can help resolve some problems in the future. Thank you for listening.